say E.J. Bradford's family is pursuing new legal options. Today, attorneys for Bradford's family filed a federal lawsuit against the city of Hoover and the unnamed police officer. The attorney general's office later ruled the shooting justified. Attorneys say proper procedure was not followed. And I can tell you as a former police officer that this incident should not have happened. I've been on the street. I understand police tactics. I understand how these situations are supposed to be handled. The suit claims the officer who shot Bradford failed to give verbal commands and didn't follow state and national training standards. Now, Bradford's parents are still battling in court for more transparency in the investigation. And back in March, the ACLU and NAACP joined a lawsuit against Hoover Police and the Attorney General. WVTM 13's John Papke investigates what they're seeing and why Hoover's police chief believes the records remain off limits. In February, Attorney General Steve Marshall announced the fatal shooting of E.J. Bradford was justified. But Bradford's family felt the investigation lacked transparency. So they sued Marshall and Hoover Police Chief Nick Dursis. They requested copies of all police and surveillance videos, along with the names of the officers involved in Bradford's death. It is in the interest of the people of Alabama that these records be made available to the public, they argued. Since then, the judge has dismissed the case against Marshall, but allowed claims against Chief Durzis to go forward. Two months ago, Durzis released an index of records which exist. It included 28 body camera videos from 19 police officers and referenced more than a dozen other clips from the scene. Attorneys for Bradford's family believe the list is too vague. Nothing in the index clarifies what the 16 investigative videos capture, what what source they were derived from or what legal theory defendant is relying on to withhold them. Durzis' lawyers countered. Plaintiffs have no right to know from the police chief which stores at the Galleria have video of the vicinity at the time of the shooting of Bradford and the shooting by Brown. Aaron Brown is accused of shooting Brian Wilson inside the Galleria moments before police opened fire on Bradford, confusing him as the shooter. Since the Attorney General is still investigating Brown's case, Chief Durzis argues they are exempt from the Open Records Act. There has been very little movement in Aaron Brown's attempted murder case. The last filing was on February 6th, nearly a year after he was charged. His attorney says they are still waiting for the case to go to the grand jury. I'm John Papke, WVTM 13.